Hello there everyone and welcome back to Resonant Rise. Unfortunately, Kate has had to bow out again. She still is got limited voice thanks to a cold, which really sucks. So we're going to do a bit more technical work today. Some odds and sods and jobs around the place. Starting with some new level of upgrade. I've got the uh, quarry going again, as you can see. Here they come. Oh, may, it might, you know what? It might, the full thing might actually be done already. Should be a little insane, but I was worried about this thing running out of space, so let's get it a bit more room. Yeah, I think it's finished. Oh, isn't that hilarious? Oh, maybe? No, it's, oh, there they come. There it comes, look at that. There it comes. I have more of this stone than I know what to do with at this point. So another thing that I've done, this is really cool. I taught my system how to craft a whole bunch of new things today. I did it all off camera because none of it was terribly exciting to watch, but the results of it are going to be, because it's nothing you haven't seen. It was prepping stuff for crafting and um, construction. So I got red allo all the red alloy wire and all of its related components trained in the system, including the ability to smelt the red, al red alloy ingots I also taught it to make glass. I haven't taught it to make sand yet, but I can at least now turn glass, turn sand into uh, glass on demand. With that and I'm still missing the ability to, no, I should have slabs in here. Yep, there they are. So now I have the ability to request all the parts for nodes in a jar out in the field. And I have the ability to recharge my wand out in the field which means we're almost ready. But what I need to work on right now is the um, uh, jetpack refueling system I was working on. And it had a minor problem that it wasn't working quite right. And I think the reason I made the red power parts is because I think red power is going to save me the trouble or make things easier. So what we need is a timer. There it is. See, it's made out of a whole bunch of different parts, all of which I've taught the system how to make. So if I go plus, this might take a minute though because I don't have a lot of these plates made right now. So actually, it's probably going to have to make them. So I might as well show you. Well, it requests all those parts. Right down here, I had to expand my smelting capability. So I figured, hey, why not this big empty hallway here? Oh, that's weird. Maybe, it, did I, I did figure it out, right? Yeah, stone in, plates out, maybe. No, it should be requesting those. Hmm, interesting. Let's see if this thing is uh, already provided. Maybe I had more of the plates in stock than I thought. Hey, look at that, I did. So, bingo, all the parts I need for a timer. Now these things are really cool. Oh, and I will also need some wire. Might as well make it get some extra. I won't need nearly that much, but the uh, upside to that is I can, uh, I'll put it back into stock for later. Oh geez, I got all sorts of crap here, don't I? Get rid of all this, get rid of this, this, this. Extra ender chest I accidentally made. I might need that later though. Perfect. Mm. Things are just a little sluggish tonight. Now these are great, because they are things that we can put on the wall. Like so. Now, let's see, it requires, let's see, shift. How does one reorient these things? I know there's a way to do it. Maybe it's just a left click, left click. Left click, no. All right, first you need to slow down. Let's make it take one minute. So every time one minute rolls round, it creates a pulse. Now, I need a tool that is fast enough to break this almost instantaneously. Ooh, or, or, oh, 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 I know what I can do. I can get a pulse lengthener. 
I'm sure there's a pulse lengthener here or something along that line. So let's see. Those are comparators, buffer cells, invert, null, bus transceiver, synchronizer, counter, toggle latch, transparent latch, timer, sequencer, RS latch, repeater, randomizer, pulse former, might be a pulse former. Some basic gates. Let's try the pulse former. No, not that. I need a pulse former. Boom. Get me a pulse former. Yeah, that's going to take a moment. Anyways, what I need to do is configure this thing. Okay, I need. Let's hope this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Oh, never mind. Vacuum hopper. You're gonna be in there. Yeah, okay, so we need a definite whitelist down there, don't we? That thing takes up a deceptively large amount of uh, block space, doesn't it? All right, there we are. You need a little reconfiguration right there. Because you should be whitelisting tanks that are empty, I think. I think that's what we need to do to make this work. I guess we'll find out in just a second. Let's see, we need to use metadata. I wonder now if it will allow. So that one will go through just fine, I'm sure. Or maybe not. Yep, nope, there it goes. Whoops. Question is, if I break this like the plan is. Whoops. Now the question is, Now it's got a different characteristic. So we need to know one, what's in here, two of these guys, and that. So it is not. So what we needed to do was actually to whitelist or to blacklist empty tanks. Those. Man, we actually need something a little more complex, don't we? That's that's a problem. This thing, we need a... So the empty tank should stay in there, or the full tank should stay in there, which is one thing. But it's not quite giving me the logic I need, is it? Because this thing's also gonna have wands in it. If I put a wand in here, whoops. Oh crap, well that went the wrong place. This thing, yeah, it thinks it can use a wand. So, we need some way of telling it that it only wants to take, now if I've got two tanks in circulation, every minute one of these will be shuffled into the no, no, that won't work because, hmm. Yeah, and that metadata is a problem, isn't it? Blacklist gas tank and blacklist, ooh, blacklist wands. That'll work. That'll at least keep the wands from accidentally going in there. So now if I put a wand in here, it should just sit, just sit in there because it's got a full charge. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Now if I do that and throw that in, it should disappear and it'll be back in just a second. Now, I accidentally destroyed a timer, which is really 
no oh no there it is right no I didn't destroy it it went into that vacuum hopper those things would cause me so many heart attacks there we go a pulse former let's see what this goes now let's see red power we need red power tools that will let us manipulate Um, these latches and whatnot. There's got to be a way to do it. Hollow cartridge, woven cloth, screwdriver? Might be a screwdriver. Let's try that on for size. Let's see if that allows me to do what I think I need to do. Bring me the parts for a screwdriver. That should not take long at all. Bingo. See if that does what we need to do. So pulse former is going to be the second one. In and out. No. Yeah, there we are. In and out. Now let's see. Hmm. I don't actually know how that works. So let's get our timer here. Out. No, that is not doing what we need it to do. So, let's see, will this allow us to remove it? Yeah, it will. No, it won't. Come on, you. Pop. Right. It's mildly, oh right, now it's not blacklisted, so it went straight through. How interesting. Okay, so what we need then is, if that's not going to work, we need an RS latch, because I have one other idea about how this should work. I'll find a, a use for that thing later. Let's see if it knows what an RS... Actually, if I search for a latch... See what we get when we search for a latch. There we are. RS latch, toggle latch, transparent. We'll go with an RS latch. <clears throat> and we'll toss the pulse former into storage. You go there, you can go as well. I'm not gonna need that. So what we'll do is we'll just toggle. That's gonna take a minute. So yeah, what we'll do is we will toggle this thing every minute or so. And so what, every one minute it will be breaking blocks, the next minute it will be um, not breaking. And once both these tanks are full, which this one happens to be well on its way to being, um, actually maybe even two minutes, except that If only there were, there, there's got to be a way to actually lengthen a pulse in this system. You'd think a pulse lengthener would be a standard. I guess I could just um, send it. Uh, well, we'll see. I might have to uh, let you guys go and come back when. Uh, I get this a little bit more figured out because I want to do some other stuff today. So yeah, let me uh, let you guys go and I'll come, come back when I show you what I've come up with. Okay, I think I've got it. And it's not a super complex circuit, but it would sure be complex to build with normal redstone. So when it's toggle, so they've got a toggle latch and two timers. So this toggle latch toggles this um, autonomous activator on and off. When this is deactivated, when th this is not cutting, this timer is off. This timer controls the filling cycle. It's currently set for 30 seconds. It's going to be set to 300 because there's no sense in rushing that. So when that toggles, it inverts this signal, lets it break that tank, and then it inverts the signal again, both resetting this timer 
and resetting this latch. Simple as that. The end result is about every 300 seconds or so, ah, 400, we can even give it 400 seconds, this tank is going to be broken and cycled through to see if it's full. And if it's full, it just winds up stored in here with everything else. Now what's really important about that is when it's broken, let me just get rid of some of this stuff here, I can grab this right here, this ender pouch, this white pouch, which Kate and I will share, and it now has a gas tank in it that's full. And that full gas tank will sit in there all the time. So, not bad if you ask me. Not bad at all. Now, what we really need now is a few other useful odds and sods that are going into this pouch or into my pouch, personally. I haven't decided which yet, but see if I can get the next item on the list um, in the works. So we'll start. Let's see if we've got everything we need to actually craft the full thing. It's going to be a, it's called a auto brewer. Because wouldn't it be nice Interesting, redstone repeaters. I don't even know if the system knows how to make those. Well, let's see how much of that we've got. Needs redstone reception coil. I should really teach the system how to make those. And two redstone repeaters. So let's start with those. We can do that just like so. We'll do that one first. Get that. Give it two seconds. Should only take two seconds, there it is. And auto brewer, resistant repeater. And I th think we need to know, know how to make all those. Yeah, we do. All the materials for two repeaters. One and two. Okay, now we should be able to make this. Oh, except that it doesn't know how to find these things that are... One flaw in this, it doesn't know how to see stuff that's in its temporary inventory here. Let's pop those in there. Let's try that again. There we go. Everything we need. One auto brewer. Boom! Easy as that. So, let's go find somewhere to hook this up to the logistics system. Ah, down here. That'll be perfect, actually because we've got power, we've got logistics pipes, and we've got room. Kind of despair here, or we will have room. Let's get this thing out of the way. I don't know exactly how this thing functions yet, so that's the first thing we have to figure out. So first, we're gonna need power. Cable. 10 cables. And we'll run those right under here. Now I can't recall if logistics pipes can interact with this particular kind of um, system. So potion, well let's find out. We'll get a few logistics pipes. And press a crafting pipe. Let's see, oh, there's my cables, power up. Now then, since our system knows how to make water bottles, which is a useful thing. Oh, and I need a gold pipe as well. Gold pipe. I wanna see if I can make this interact directly. Oh, no, pipe. We have a lot of crap armor coming into the system now, but that's all going into our storage box, which is kind of funny. And useful. Mm, pardon my yawn. It's been a long day. Helping a friend out with a big project at his uh, workshop. 
So, let's see if we can teach this thing how to make a healing potion splash, healing potion two. We can't teach the system how to actually make it, so we need to teach. Well, let's see, what do we need to make a healing potion? We're going to need to actually teach the system how to make a whole bunch of wacky stuff here, because we're going to need, well, let's see, wart first. Hmm, I should get that, I should start uh, growing that, actually. I know exactly where to grow it to. So we'll get 20 of those. Now let's see, what else do we need? For healing we need melon. We need glistering melon or something weird. Let's see. No, I can't remember. Healing. So splash potion of healing requires gunpowder into a potion of healing, which requires glowstone, glistering melon, which is melon surrounded by gold nuggets. So I'm gonna have to teach the system some new, or honey drops, so that's interesting. Or chemical synthesis, or, okay. And then the basis is still a awkward potion, which uses nether wart. Okay. Well, let's see what we can teach this thing to start. First of all, I want to see if I can just teach this thing how to make an awkward potion. Let's see. So, is it one potion per? Let's see, if we tell it, so we're going to need a water bottle. Press one of those. Now, if I'm understanding this correctly, what we should get is, and this is the part where I'm learning something I know nothing about. Come on, bottle of water, don't fail me now. That's got to go through a transposer, so it may take a minute. But it should work. That'll be down on the lower floor though, so by the time I get there, it should be here. The waiting game. Waiting is the hardest part, right? I might actually have to keep a small stock of water bottles in hand here. I did teach it how to make bottles of water, right? Well, it doesn't appear to be blinking. Oh, there it is. Just took bloody forever to get here. Yeah, note to self, keep some water bottles on hand. Okay. So what we know is that we'll just teach this a different thing. A uh, water bottle plus a nether wart. No, a water bottle plus one nether silly thing one nether wart one water bottle produces let's see if I can just no I can't put that in there well let's see if we'll brew that there we go now in the meantime we'll get another couple of bottles Them in the system, and now we have an awkward potion. So it really just comes down to can this thing pull an awkward potion out if I request one? And that's really all I want to know right now. And actually, all we should have to do is say one awkward potion request. Now it should be well on its way. In the meantime, let's get some soul sand. System knows how to make soul sand. All right, 
right, so we got another wort. Oh, and there comes the bottle of water. And now what happens when the awkward potion is made? Because that will tell us what we have to do to make this work. It pulls it out. Nice, so this thing can interact directly with logistics. Excellent. All right, let's get that nether wart farm going because we're going to be needing a lot of those to make this thing work. The only downside I can see to that is that, um, okay, we need my planter. It should be right here. Yeah. Whoa, 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 stop it. Need to teach it that. Ender lily seeds need to go where? So we'll put them in the middle. And we'll put them in this row. I think that'll work. And then we'll try another word right there. And we'll put one, two, three right there. And we'll see if that's the right side. Let's get a few of these beasties out of the way here. Shouldn't even take all that much of it to do this. Hopefully that's the right side for another wart. Man, so many funny little systems that I don't even need anymore out there. There it comes. Nice. Perfect. Alright, that'll do for now. Ow, ow. And you go there. Excellent. Okay, well we got another work cooking anyway, so that'll that'll help things out. Okay, so now that we got another work cooking. So it looks to me like we're gonna have to teach this thing how to make each kind of we'll have to the auto brewers can only make one kind of potion at a time. That's all I can think of. Which means that if we're going to make splash potions of healing, which seemed like a fairly efficient thing to have, we're going to need Glistering Melon, which we'd already determined. It's going to require... Oh yeah, let's get those in the system. I don't even know where they're going to live, but let's get them somewhere safe. Okay, so we need crafting, pair, one of those, one of those. Let's go get a new crafting table set up. Because we've got to teach the system how to make glistering melon here first. By the way, I added an access corridor here. It makes things a little cleaner in case something hangs up for some reason. Granted, I'm going to have to move it over a bit more here, because, let's see, so gunpowder we have tons of. All right, and we don't know how to make gold nuggets yet. So that will have to be next. Import that, good. There's our new way in. Okay. Another one. Anyways, this is just going to be fiddly stuff, so I will bring you back in a few minutes. Alright, here we go. So, uh, nether wart plus glistering melon plus glowstone plus gunpowder plus glowstone plus gunpowder plus glistering melon produces oh where's that awkward potion gone let's see I had an awkward potion bring it on Should bring them both on it served its purpose now we just need to put them to work so you can go here 
and then boom, boom, boom. There we go. There's our healing potion. And there's healing two, because there's no reason not to have the high-powered potions. And splash so that Kate and I can, can make use of it. And because it also works as an offensive weapon, potentially. So that is going to make this. So let's go here and we'll let's say splash request two. And we should see a whole bunch of goodies flying in here in just a second. That's, yeah, the glistering melon's gonna take a second longer. There's the first water bottle. Did that other water bottle not have anywhere it could go? Or what? Let's see what happens here. So the first one worked out okay. Are we gonna need a buffer? Oh, no, maybe not. Looks like we're okay. And it can do them in series, which is even better. Excellent. Hmm, excellent indeed. Well, no arguments there. That is a good brewing system. So this will make only, unfortunately, it will only make splash potions of healing. But those are the ones that I'm going to need the most in the, in the near future. So next, we need... Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think this is going to work really well. Next, I need to teach the system how to keep a couple of those on hand for me at all times. And ideally, I want to keep them on hand for me in... Oh, right, it went in here, didn't it? Let's just throw those back in the system. There we go. And that can go as well. And so can that. So we're going to need a... Um, we have one. Supplier. I do. Now, supplier, I believe, is the one that will keep a quantity of something in the neighborhood. Now, I have to be reasonable because the white bag has only got... Because I'm going to have to blacklist things at the places. So let's see. But the idea is that this white bag... Oh, wait. And then there's also the uh, interface I need. What is it called? It's up here, I believe. I'll have to go look underneath the floor here. There it is. It's called a remote order logistics pipe, but I don't actually need that because it's not going to be remote ordering anything. Remote ordering goes to our personal boxes. Now this box is going to be pipe. It's going to be a special one that's going to go right. Actually, I didn't even need that pipe, actually. It's going to go right there. It's going to be connected to a that one right there. What I do need, however, is a chest, which I have right here. And this is what that one was for. So all I have to do is teach it always have now potions don't stack so that's an important thing request one of those and one milk nice and those are in here right now so what we want to do is teach it to have one of those in here at all times Actually, we could even do two. There we are, two of those and two of those. 
because that'll be one for me and one for Kate. That'll uh, be in this chest at all times. And we don't have to remote order them. Uh, they'll be in here anytime we need them. So in just a second, that should refill that right there. A few items should roll up into this chest. And here it comes. Or no, not quite, but soon. Hmm. Oh, what was that? Are those sparkles telling me that something's being made or what's going on here? I guess the better question would be where are, the, is there things being made here? Nope, wrong one. Down here is where it is. Uh oh, did you hear that? That was scary. Yeah, this one's still in the works. But soon. Soon my precious thing will have its uh, potions in stock. Oh, that's odd. Yeah, it's only saying one, but it's somehow it's starting to build up an excess supply of these uh, materials here. It's odd. See, did anything? Yes, we have. Wait, why did that? Oh, nuts. Right, I know why it's going on. Oh, crap. No wonder we're having trouble. Get over here. You. I knew I forgot a detail. Blacklist. Potions. Blacklist. Milk. There we go. Whoops. Well, it doesn't hurt to have a few extras in the system, so that'll just speed up supply. There's milk. Yeah, it's an important detail is that this thing is not actually configured to store those kinds of things. Two milk bottles and in a moment we'll have two potions. So an interesting question though is where are they being actually stored? I would guess they're winding up in the miscellaneous box. Yep, there's one. So we might need a brewing station box or something. Oh yeah, there they all are. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. There's one. Perfect. So now we've got a couple healing potions and a couple bottles of milk, which of course uh, will um, allow me to do some healing. Okay, I think that's going to be enough for today. I've kind of spent a lot of time on a few very little things, but it's infrastructure that's in place. So what I'm going to do off camera here is I'm going to go get a few more nodes for our uh, work site here. In particular, I need fire. I think, no, I got lots of fire. Order. I think I'm really short on order nodes. Fire. Fire air. Earth order. Order fire. Yeah. No, oh, there's some order on that one too. That's not so bad. But there's a nice big perdito, a nice big or aqua node. Nice big Terra node and a nice big air node. So we yeah, we definitely need an order node for sure and probably some others if we can get them. So I will take care of that off camera thanks to my new wand charging station. It'll be a lot easier. Stupid flux. Okay, yeah, anyways, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.